Well, short implants can work very, very well if they're designed properly. Let me explain. So when you design a dental implant and you place threads on it, the minimum number of threads that you need for primary stability is five. This is where you get the concept of the five thread guideline for primary stability that we've published and, and you guys have seen before. So as long as your implant, your mini implant has five threads on it as a minimum, you're going to be fine. Now, why do I say that? Because I've seen implants that people have said, well, if mini implants work for this company, I'm going to make my own mini implant and I'm going to put three threads on it because I think now it's shorter, it can get into even tighter spaces. And so the answer is, mm, it doesn't work that way. And the reason why is that with traditional V-thread V thread shaped threads, five threads carry about 93% of all of, the, all of the force. So most of the force is carried on those five threads. If you go to three threads, you don't have enough threads to carry the force, which means that the stress on the crestal region is too high, and that might lead to biomechanical complications. So you want to have an implant that has a minimum of five. If you look to the BioRisons implant for their, for their short implants, they have seven threads on them. Why seven? Well, in engineering, if five is the bare minimum, if you have two more, it's called a factor safety. So they have a little bit of a factor safety that gives you a little bit of buffer, okay? And this is really important because when you're going into places where you have a, a compromised vertical height, so this would be like over the nerve or under the sinus. Those are the two locations where the shorties really play a, a, an active role. You, you want to make sure that you're engaging about five millimeters of bone uh, subantral, for instance.